Gray with it. Outside Howard. Back to Gray. Steps back and fires. And no good. Jefferson outside. Pass to Gustafson. To the middle. Here's Turner. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. It's on Cheyenne Parker. Not afraid to challenge defenders. Turner plays with confidence and composure. First free throw is good. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard. The first overall pick of the 2022 draft, Howard is a dynamic player. And for the dream, Ryan Howard hit the ground running in her rookie season. In her first week in the WNBA, Ryan Howard was the Eastern <gasps> Conference Player of the Week. It had been 20 years since a rookie won the honor in their opening week. From the jump, Ryan looking like a franchise-level player. Honestly, the first thing that comes to mind anytime I see anything Phoenix Mercury related, Diana Taurasi. The top pick in the 2004 draft has spent every season in the Valley of the Sun. It's not going to go for her. Now the Dream take it the other way. Jones outside. Makes the bucket. She's now got five field goals. Five for eight on the game. And for Tarasi, all she's done in Phoenix has become the most accomplished player in league history. Oh, you can just call Diana the GOAT. Rings? Yeah, she's got a few. All WNBA selections, more than a dozen. MVP? Well, of course, she's got one of those to go along with a bunch of scoring titles. I mean, you name it, DT's done it. Jones. She's covered by Jefferson. Gray outside. Over on Yenwede. Here's Parker. Count it. Ferociously rips down boards. Parker has an extra gear she taps into when crashing the glass. Past on Yenwede. Sutton. Inside, here's Gustafson, and she uses the glass on the layup. Found the soft spot in the D right there. The dream trail. Jones outside, back to Gray. Howard. Now Billings, pass to Gray, six on the shot clock. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And here's Sutton. Now Gustafson. And she drops it in from the low post. Well, we're seeing the shots dropping for them very well now. Yeah, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. Their coach has to be happy. Back to Gray. Outside Howard. The nine-foot shot. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. I like how Gray plays with her head up and scans the floor. To me, that's always going to be a recipe for success. Onion Wade inside. Gray defending. And it's going to be a three-second call. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's the floater. And Parker gets the whistle that time. And that is her third foul so far. Timeout called the Mercury. Phoenix with the ball. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Pass to Onion Wade. Tries to break her ice. 
Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. Outside Howard. Gustafson with the rebound. Here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. It's good from long range. We're watching a pure shooter go to work. Tarasi simply has great mechanics on her jump shot. Here's Howard. No good on that shot. Nice D from Diana Tarasi. To the inside. Fades away. Onion Wede shot is good. What focus from Onion Wede? I don't know how she made that one. Now here's Howard. It's Nia Coffey on the wing. Kicks it out to Jones. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Jefferson. The dream again can't hit. That's one she knows she should have drained. Pass to Turner. The shot misses. And it's Atlanta the other way. Now here's Howard. Good on the shot. Few players make interior scoring look as effortless as Ryan Howard does. She has got just such a fluid offensive game. Here's Onion Wade. Both loose and stolen by Gray. I think that deficit's too much to overcome. You nailed it, Tim. There just isn't enough ticks on the clock. They get the bus going, get the plane going, whatever. Here's Howard. He shoots again. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Onion Wade with it. Tarasi outside. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that'll wrap it up.